Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to a Tuesday edition of What's for Lunch. I'm your host, Larry Herz, and today in studio, I have Joseph from Superfood Bar Denver. Welcome. Thanks for having super me. Superfood Bar Denver. I said that like is like one word. Yeah. It's a super, super food, food bar, bar in Denver. In Denver. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys have seen the show, you know I eat a lot of like unhealthy food. So it was really nice to. I needed something like this today. So I'm really glad you're here. Uh, give us a little history of yourself and sure. your place. Well, we opened up the first one in New Orleans back in 2010. Uh, that was the first vegan restaurant in the state of Louisiana. So it was, uh, you know, we didn't have a big market when we first opened, but it was just a little tiny space. Eventually decided to move out to Denver in 2017. Uh, kept the other restaurant going until the end of 2019 and closed it just before COVID hit. Uh, so we've been open here for three years. And where exactly are you located? 1541 Platt. Oh, 15th and Platt. Yeah. We're going to start off with a drink. Tell them what this is. This is the immune shot. Cheers. Cheers. And, and what's in it? We got uh, ginger, ginger juice, basically organic, fresh ginger juice, lacuma, acerola, um, amla, and camu camu. These are all fruits from the Amazon, very high in vitamin C, so it just tastes like a vitamin C chewable. A little black pepper. Sip it or shoot it? Shoot it. And a little date syrup as well, which we can maybe talk Sip about. It. You can do this, Larry. I promise. There you go. Oh. 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 That'll wake you up. Beautiful. I feel healthier already. Woo! How about that? Let's do this. I haven't been sick in 11 years, and I think that may be a part of it, just taking those immune shots. It couldn't hurt. Yeah. Uh, so what's the concept? Well, we, we've stripped it down. It's, it's the most kind of from scratch menu I could come up with. When I first started, I had this chef, Amy Havens, that started with me, and I just explained that I wanted to... She was a classically trained chef and was, had worked with, you know, John Besh and Bobby Benjamin and... and I really boxed her in by saying you, you have to use only these ingredients. You can't fry, you can't, uh, you know, there's no cooking. We, it was basically raw at that time. So we had to completely start from scratch. And we've tried to build these kind of basic ingredients like this chili garlic paste here. That's just okay. chilies blended up with garlic and a little touch of salt. And that's not that unique, this kind of thing. You see it on the side of a, in the, uh, the little condiments at the, the Chinese restaurant, you know. There's, here's another example. That's just turmeric, coconut, and black pepper. Um, this one's a good example. That's just date and water. So you let that sit overnight, then you have this nice syrup that pours off of that. So you that put dates the, and water, and then you yep, get a yep. You get a little syrup out of it. That's actually in the immune shot. That was the little bit of sweetness that we had. You can use it in your coffee. Those dates that you've poured the sugar off of can still be used in your smoothie. Will still impart some some sweetness, but also has all that fiber. This vinaigrette right here is just date syrup and apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper. That's my vinaigrette. So we really tried to build these basic ingredients like mirepoix, you know, mirepoix. Mm -hmm, sure. This basic thing that you just have in your kitchen that you can say, oh, add mirepoix to that, right? Add this basic dressing. That, that was, you know, Amy and I had both been trained as kind of classically trained chefs. So we brought that to them to the raw food world. Then we got into kind of some cooking, you know, a little bit more cooking in the future. But, you know, so much of this stuff, this is a completely raw salad. Okay, let's talk um, about we, what's in this. Sure. We got the pecans there that are uh, candied, spicy candied pecans, uh, done in just a dehydrator under 14, so it's actually raw. Heating can actually break down the oils in a lot of foods and make them become rancid and cause a little bit more distress than you're aware of sometimes. Um, we got the cheese that we make in-house from coconut, cashews, uh, super potent, apple cider vinegar, a little red onion, of course, some sprouts uh, over greens, a little avocado as well. So you're a, a raw restaurant? No, there's okay. there's many raw things on the menu. Okay. Because all the smoothies are raw, the acai bowl here is raw, um, but we have also cooked items as well. Okay. But you're vegetarian? Or? It's vegan. There's no animal products, not even honey of any type. It's also certified organic. Every single ingredient, including our spices, is certified organic. It's uh, gluten-free, which is a little difficult to do. It's also soy-free, which is really rare in this in this thing. A lot of soy, uh, a lot of soy products are very prevalent in vegan restaurants, even vegetarian restaurants. Uh, we also dairy-free, GMO-free, dairy-free. GMO-free. Yeah. So it's I, free. We may be the only. <laughs> right? yeah. oh, 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 oh. It's not free. <laughs> oh, okay. 
<laughs> we may be the only restaurant that's doing all of those things. I know that from what I can tell, we are the only restaurant that, excuse me, we are the restaurant that makes more from scratch than any restaurant in the entire country. I only have three products in house right now that are just a raw product. Wow. Okay, what's in this bowl here? What do we got? That's the black bean bowl. So that's our black beans. It's a four day process to make these beans. Um, a lot of that's just the soaking and rinsing, which it, uh, bleeds off a lot of the digestive enzymes, which gives you a little bit less distress when you eat them. A lot of people say they can eat my beans, but they can't eat other beans. We have the cheese again, avocado again, again, those staples that we just use over and over again in our food. That's a mango relish. So that's uh, mangoes that are dehydrated, rehydrated with apple cider vinegar and chopped up with onions, uh, peppers, a lot of spices. Yeah, that's about that. And then we got the Tuscan bowl. Now this is really uh, a lot of stuff that's made in the region. The cannellini beans are from North Dakota, I think, not that far from here. Um, the sun-dried tomatoes are, uh, uh, I've, actually I forget where those come from. But anyway, it's uh, the, the star of the show is kind of those beans and the kale, which is a local farmer. Um, I forget the name right now, but but uh, we also have the avocado and the vegan cheese added to that, and it's over rice. That's a really hearty, that's one of the few things that we have with oil that kind of has that satiating kind of oily quality to, hmm. quality to it. I think we just missed this guy right here. I'm yeah. curious about this. Pumpkin patty salad. That's actually a famous salad. Uh, 5280 had an article on, on the salad not too long ago just talking about all the ingredients that went into it, the thought, the science behind it. So that's uh, our pumpkin patty, which is also our falafel. That's just... Uh, vegetables, uh, mirepoix, um, lentils and oats cooked down, made into a patty, uh, grilled so it's not fried or even baked. Um, we have our pickles, which is just standard pickle, shaved carrots, uh, shredded carrots, our gorissa, which is um, a, a harissa made with goji berry. It's kind of one of our little staples huh? again. And then uh, I think that's just over, What's the sauce? over greens. Oh, the sauce, thank you. Date mustard, so that's turmeric, uh, dates, salt that's about it and then obviously we're making a lot of drinks there as well yeah yeah this is the green glow this is kind of one of our top sellers it's just a salad in smoothie form um, this is the nitrilizer that's uh, bright red because of the beets in that beets are high in nitrate so that's a, a smoothie I recommend to people that are going to a workout or coming from a, a workout it's great for recovery as well as just getting primed for going out that's the chocolate coconut milkshake that's super simple that's just Coconut, date, cacao, water, that's it. This is the tasty turmeric. This is made with this turmeric paste, another one of those, um, another one of those staples that we've tried to use in many different uh, things like our patty, it's in this dressing. So that, the turmeric paste is just coconut, turmeric root ground with uh, black pepper. You need fat because turmeric is, curcumin is fat soluble and you need pepper to activate it. If you're waste, you're kind of wasting your time if you're eating turmeric any other way. The absorption drops down to about 10%. So this is with coconut, um, pineapple, carrot, and really tastes delicious. We call it the tasty turmeric. It's one of our, our most popular smoothies, even though it is definitely the healthiest and has a strong turmeric flavor. What are your hours? Nine to three right now. We were nine to five, but we have been selling out of food every day because we've had a lot of new customers now. And it's, as you know, we were discussing earlier, it's very difficult to hire. If you're interested in working in a <laughs> restaurant, afraid, yeah. please come down to 1541. <laughs> we can be uh, uh, it's yeah, a fun place. Here. It's a fun place to work and we really are doing something unique. Um, you know, it was built by fine dining chefs. Both, both Amy and I both came from working under Sean Brock and these kind of guys and really were into it. And, tried to do this kind of food with that mentality, the brigade chef. So the, most of the people that are gravitate to this food have no idea about that world. They don't want to uh, get tattoos and burn themselves on the grill. <laughs> they, but anyway, we, you know, it's a really fun place. And if you're interested and in really into, you know, uh, doing something unique in the culinary field, this is the place to do it, I think. I mean, just look at this guy's skin and like his body. He's 75 years old. Look how good he looks. 75 oh, yesterday. Oh, Amazing what no, even I'm, this I'm food will do for 51, you. 51, but I feel good. <laughs> no, but seriously, like you look very healthy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I mean, then you look at me. You, you know, should have seen me before COVID. <laughs> what were you? Oh, just I felt a lot, a lot healthier, and I seem, I feel like I, I was younger then. Uh, what's your website? Um, SFBCuisine.com. All right. You do uh, so right now. Your only takeout? No. Oh, yes. Well. People can eat outside. They can eat outside. They can't eat inside. Outside, not okay. inside. Right. 
And delivery? Delivery through DoorDash, Postmates, and Uber. DoorDash is the preferred. Okay. Yeah. Anything else before we go? Anything we forget? Anything you we want to talk about? We are looking for investors. I have a great food cost and a great labor cost. Um, it's highly scalable. I just haven't had the time to look for you. If you are interested in this kind of this kind of food and you want to invest, come talk to me. And how would they talk to you? Just come find me at the restaurant, 1541 Platt Street. Could they DM you through Instagram too? I guess they could do that. Yeah, yes. he's not, not on somebody, Instagram. Somebody though. would somebody, to, somebody to that, eventually. Sure, yeah. Go visit him at 15th and Platt. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks really interesting. Me, I Thank mean, you, sir. Thank I'm you. going to be busy trying all this stuff. I'm really Hope curious so. about it. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for another episode of What's for Lunch. Let's eat. Uh, what am I eating? That is the <laughs> pumpkin patty. <laughs> pumpkin patty. Yep. Yeah. Dude, that's really good.